The revealing of a new legendary card has stirred excitement and anticipation. We've had only a fleeting glance at the card art, yet there's an intriguing backstory waiting to be unraveled. Let's set off on an enthralling quest to unveil the mystery and discover the captivating tale that lies beneath the surface. Once upon a time, three brothers set off down a calm, picturesque path as the last light of day faded into twilight. Their journey led them to a vast, dangerous river. Too deep to wade through and too treacherous to swim across. But the brothers, skilled in the art of magic, summoned a bridge across the river with a wave of their wands. The brothers, as they reached the heart of the bridge, were unexpectedly confronted by a sinister figure dressed in black. It was death, seething with anger. Normally, travelers would drown in the river, succumbing to his powers, but these three brothers had cheated him. Cunning and sly, death pretended to congratulate the brothers on their ingenuity and presented each of them with a gift, a reward for their cleverness in avoiding his clutches. The eldest brother, filled with pride and a thirst for victory, requested the mightiest wand in existence, a wand that would bestow him supremacy in every duel. Death, ever cunning and sly, made his way to an ancient elder tree, severed a branch, and crafted it into a wand. He handed it to the eldest brother, calling it the Elder Wand, a wand of unparalleled power and prestige. The second brother, who was ambitious and haunted by grief, craved the power to bring back those who had passed on. Death, sensing his heartache, plucked a stone from the river's edge and bestowed upon it the capacity to call forth the spirits of the deceased. With a grave voice, he gave the resurrection stone to the second brother, promising him the chance to reunite with those he had lost. The youngest brother, who was both wise and humble, harbored a deep distrust of death. He sought a means to depart without drawing attention. Death, despite his reticence, presented him with his own cloak of invisibility. This cloak, when worn, granted the wearer the power of invisibility, rendering them imperceptible to the eyes of others. With their extraordinary gifts in hand, the brothers continued on their journey, filled with wonder and awe at the rewards they had secured and the incredible encounter they had just lived through. Eventually, they bid farewell to each other, each heading in their own direction toward their individual destinies. The eldest brother, filled with pride and eager to showcase his newfound power, sought out a wizard in a distant village to engage in a duel. Armed with the Elder Wand, he handily defeated his opponent, leaving no doubt about the wand's supremacy. Overconfident and boastful, he flaunted the wand's invincibility at a tavern, declaring that he had taken it from death himself. That very night, a sly wizard crept into his room while he slept, slashed his throat, and stole the powerful wand. Thus, death took the life of the eldest brother. The second brother, consumed by grief for his lost love, used the resurrection stone to call her back to him. With a mix of wonder and sorrow, he watched as her spirit appeared before him. But she was cold and sorrowful, as though held at a distance by an invisible veil. She did not belong in the living world, and her suffering was palpable. Overcome by despair, the second brother made the terrible decision to end his own life, seeking to join her in death. The youngest brother, wise and cunning, had used the cloak of invisibility to evade death's gaze for many years. He lived a long and fulfilling life, growing old in peace. When the time came, he took off the cloak, passing it on to his son. Then, he greeted death not as a foe, but as an old friend, and departed this world alongside him. The moral of this story is that death is not an enemy to be vanquished, but rather a natural part of life to be faced with dignity and understanding. True wisdom lies in living life to the fullest, valuing what we have, and knowing when to let go. The tale encourages us to cultivate humility, acceptance and mindfulness in the choices we make, for it's these choices that help us find peace in life and beyond. And you, dear listener, how would you choose to walk your path? Seeking power, holding on to the past, or embracing the wisdom to live and let go? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. If you had to choose one of these artifacts, which one would you pick? I think I'm not ready to choose any of them yet. As the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility.